The coronavirus has people hoarding hand sanitizer and disinfectants. Most stores are constantly selling out, making it hard to keep their shelves stocked. Our Jamie Perez shares how you can avoid this problem by taking matters into your own hands. Recent consumer reports showed that the demand for hand sanitizer has increased about 1,400% in recent weeks, causing some major price gouging to go on. Look at this. Nearly $600 for a pack of six hand sanitizers online. Now, nobody wants to pay that price, and it's almost impossible to find this in stores. So I found a way that you can actually make this at home. While health experts say washing your hands is still the best practice, hand sanitizer was created for our convenience. And when you wash with hand sanitizer, you shouldn't just use it on your palms. You should be rubbing all of your surfaces. The alcohol in hand sanitizers is still great for killing the germs from the coronavirus. We talked to an associate professor of biochemistry at UW-Madison today who explains exactly what that alcohol in sanitizers does to the coronavirus. So coronaviruses are enveloped viruses, and what this means is that the viral genomic material is wrapped in a layer of lipids. Um, what the alcohol is doing is going in and disrupting that layer of lipids. So essentially it's like popping the balloon. And that inactivates the virus. But because sanitizers are selling out in stores, here is a way that you can make it yourself and these are all of the ingredients that you will need. Aloe gel, rubbing alcohol, essential oil to mask the smell of the alcohol, and a bottle to put it all in. Mix one third a cup of aloe gel with two thirds a cup of rubbing alcohol. Add five to 10 drops of essential oil. You're gonna mix it all up and then bottle it up and you have your homemade hand sanitizer, but there's still a couple of things that you should keep in mind when you're buying these products from the store. Um, you have to use a fairly high concentration of rubbing alcohol. Um, so this is really only going to work if you use the 90 or 100% rubbing alcohol. If you start with 70% out rubbing alcohol and you dilute it further, um, then what's actually going to wind up happening is you're not using enough alcohol to inactivate the virus anymore. No matter what hand cleansing method you choose, truth be told, you should always practice good hand washing hygiene, whether there's a virus outbreak or not. And I have that recipe for making your own sanitizer on our website, but doctors are still recommending that if you have access to some good old fashioned soap and water, do that first and then only resort to that sanitizer if you don't have access to a sink at home. That you, a lot of people are going to be doing this now. There were. We're, when we went to Walmart mm -hmm. and asked her, like, hey, where's the aloe vera? She's like, oh, are you making hand sanitizer? I was like, oh. yeah, why? Wow. She was like, there's a lot of people that are asking that are already doing this. Wow. Jamie's <laughs> recipes on channel3000.com. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Jamie.